All right, guys, this is Avi Oziel here again on the Precious Metal Recovery Hunt. To all my fellow Precious Metal Scrappers, I'm with you guys and would love to give you all a basic introduction to the red gold, which is also known as copper. Copper is right now holding at about 390 a pound. So if you get a pound of this metal here, it's worth about four bucks. Now what to look for in copper, how to get it, what kind of different types of copper there is, I'll explain to you in this video. So to start out with, you're going to have your general copper wiring, which can be found in all kinds of different electronics, mostly TVs, old computer monitors, not the LED LCD type, but I'm talking about the CRT monitors, the older, the older type of equipment that has that tube in the back. Um, if you're going to find the older TVs, not the flat screens, but the older TVs, if you pop them open, you're going to see these things right here. Now, basically, in the back of the cathode ray, if you be careful enough not to hurt yourself, you're going to see these things that are enveloped in the back of the tube. And they weigh quite a bit, actually. And um, this is pretty much very high-grade copper, about 95% clean. This right here which is also a really nice piece of copper this comes out of the back of the tv you're going to see a very thick wire that encircles the tube so if you open up any monitor that's old school if you open up any old tv not the flat screens but the older type you're going to find a wire that goes around the tube and it's going to be enveloped in a kind of a thick tape so what you want to do is you want to carefully remove that wire strip it open with a pair of um, wire strippers or scissors or whatever and you're gonna get this very thick looking piece of copper this weighs a few pounds to believe it or not so this piece alone could be about 10 bucks and it does add up so if you see anybody throwing away a TV or an old computer monitor if you can get five or ten for free that's even perfect they do add up so an old CRT monitor will have these two pieces and that piece right here put them together you got about 20 bucks so the next time you think about throwing out your old TV monitor think again because if you just take a couple of screwdrivers and open them up pop open the different you're gonna get all this now, this is a bunch of copper I probably have about a hundred pounds here well maybe not so much but if you add all this together and then all that it's probably a hundred pounds and this was stuff that was donated to me I got it for free I found it on the side of the road basically I didn't pay anything for any of this so just with some due diligence and some time I've managed to accumulate within a couple of weeks just watching TV and on my spare time after work I, I decide to open up these copper pieces now let me just show you again you're gonna have red and you're gonna have orange typically the orange copper is the most pure copper there is um, a good example is this right here this was from a TV just this whole piece this was from a laptop here it's kind of like a heat sink and another quick intro if you see any of these computer fans right don't throw them away so if you're taking off your computer motherboard and you see a fan inside the computer this is usually on top of the cpu on top of the heat sink of the cpu to keep it cool what happens is if you bust it open you may think it's just plastic but there's actually copper inside right there now to show you i've already put one aside so this is what it's going to look like if you open it up there's copper right in here so you kind of take away the plastic and then what you're gonna be left with at the end is this guy right there and if you look there's copper all around now the reason why copper is used is because it's a conductor of electricity so copper of course is used in any electrical component that requires a motor so motors like this these motors can be found inside your floppy drives, in your CD drives, DVD drives, hard disks, anything that requires something to spin. So if you have anything that spins 
uh, hair hair dryers, a fan, anything that requires something to move, you know there's copper in there. So for example, this is inside a CD-ROM. Now this is what spins the CD-ROM. Now if you look underneath it, you may just think it's stainless steel, but if you bust it open, and I'll show you what it looks like, you're going to have copper. So that copper right there is what's making that CD spin. So basically the current goes right to the copper wire and then it stimulates the motor and then the CD spins around. Now if you take it out, this is what you're left with. So pretty much you got maybe a pound of copper in there. Well, maybe half a pound if you're lucky. So at the end of the day, you got lots of copper in all sorts of places. And if you take some time and add it up, it does add up. Now the price of copper is going to be going up. So right now it's almost at $4 a pound. So it does add up. And as the third world countries are coming into play, uh, Ethiopia and most of Africa, some places in Asia and China, they're using the internet. And because of the development of the internet there, Basically, they're going to be needing all kinds of computers and electronics. And that's being, of course, donated to them by other countries. And because of that, copper is being used more and more widely in the world. So because of this emergence of copper being used in third world countries for computer use and electronics and whatever else, the price of copper in the next few years is subsequently going to go up. So right now it's only at $4 a pound, but in the next few years it may be at $8, $15 and maybe who knows 20 25 dollars a pound this big chunk right here came from a big tube tv so just look at that there's about 10 15 pounds of copper here it's pretty heavy i still haven't gotten it open it's enveloped by stainless steel so to end off this video i'm just going to show you what else to look for uh, i've compiled a whole bunch of different copper pieces here that i haven't gone through yet but just to show you, if you look at anything that's encased in steel, this is steel inside here, you may not see the copper right away, but if you see anything that's in steel, protected, and then you have this tape around it, there's copper in there, and you can kind of see a trace of the copper. If you look right there, see the copper? There it is. So there's lots of copper in there, enveloped. Also, what to look for, if you see one or two copper endings, that are connecting to the board that you strip off that's an indicator that there's copper in there so anything that has stainless steel around it anything that has yellow you see this yellow piece this yellow box there's copper all in there and they all come in different sizes copper more copper as you can see these are um, motors came out of DVDs and floppies and CDs and just random electronics that I picked out. I haven't gone through them yet, but there's copper in all these motors. Anything that turns, even this board here, if you look, there's different colors of copper here. You have green copper, red copper, orange copper. So copper comes in all different types of colors for the people who make the boards just to color coordinate what is for what this motor right here I pulled this out of um, I think this was an old vacuum like one of those old vacuums someone threw it out and I just busted it open and there's probably a couple of pounds of copper in here so someone throws out something you got ten bucks coppers at four dollars a pound if you get two pounds that's eight dollars so the next time you're throwing something out you know um, as a hobby just bust it open you're gonna get you know at least ten dollars of copper if all it takes is a couple of minutes a couple of screwdrivers you open it up you get your copper and before you know it in a week or two you get that and all of that and it's really not hard and it's actually fun um, you can it's a great stress reliever you can get a lot of stress out it's productive you're doing something and at the end of the day you're making money so it all adds up the economy you know that we're living in today every little bit counts and this is a very productive and fun way to hedge against the um, the uh, the dollar so basically look for motors look for anything that has this yellow encasing on it um, anything else that I can point out here basically all over the motherboards you're gonna find more copper in there just 
copper is everywhere. You know, anything that has, you know, electrical components has copper. This is a small fan, there's copper inside here. If you open it up, um, you know, the list goes on and on and on. So look out for something that's got yellow. Yellow tape is an indicator that there's copper inside there, as you can see right here. So anything that's got yellow tape on it, there's copper. Anything that looks like a motor, like such, there's copper. If you see a cylindrical steel uh, case like this, there's copper in there. And they come in all different types of sizes. So you can have a small one that's in the back of a CD-ROM drive. You can have a big one that's spinning the CD-ROM drive. You can have tiny little motors. You can have motors that come from vacuum cleaners. Basically, it's a treasure hunt. So it's up to you to see. I'm giving you a heads up of what to look for. And you also have big guys like these. Be careful because this is very sharp. So you do want to wear gloves when you do this kind of stuff. I don't want anybody to get hurt. So always wear protective measures. Um, I always have my gloves on hand. They're not expensive. Just get a pair of gloves like this. Put them on. Make sure you got a little bit of grip. And put your copper aside. And basically... I'm going to show you guys in the next couple of videos about copper, how to melt them. Uh, basically, you need a blowtorch with certain propane gas. Uh, you could melt the copper into ingots. So you're going to melt them into copper bars, and we're going to show you how to do that. So all this copper, in my next couple of videos about copper, I'm going to show you how to melt them into copper bars. So you're going to have pure 999 copper bars or pretty much close to it. Some of the copper is not 100% pure. The red copper is not pure copper, but the copper that is pure is the orange copper. Like when you get in the uh, copper plumbing, if you go to a plumbing store and you get the copper pipe, it's got that bright orange color. So all the copper does add up. And uh, I'm going to show you how to take all this copper that you get and turn it into bullion bars. So you're gonna get a nice little blowtorch, propane or whatnot, and you're gonna get a graphite mold. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to basically turn all this, turn it into that, and then turn it into nice little bars that you're gonna do for your investment. So basically the dollar bills and all the cash is always going down, but all this stuff is always gonna go up. But you don't wanna get rid of it. The key here, guys, and remember, is not to get rid of this and take it to your junkyard and scrap it for cash because then you're left with good old cash and you know cash is always going down in value. Precious metals is going up. So why make the scrap yard make money when you can go buy a blowtorch for 40 bucks, get a graphite ingot for $5 and make yourself one pound copper bars. And if you wanna stamp them 999 copper, you can do that. But eventually if you do this, you're going to be, well, not very wealthy, but you can have something to look forward to in the future. It does take quite some time to put it all together, but as a hobby and just for free time before you throw your next old electrical piece out on the window or on the, on the side of the road, just realize that you may be throwing out 10 or 20 bucks of copper in there. So I hope you enjoyed the video on copper and look out for my next videos with how to melt copper into copper bars. So this is Aviosiel signing out. I hope you guys enjoy your precious metal treasure hunt as much as I do. Um, we will be doing some videos on silver coming up on fine silver and how to look for different silver bars and bullion and what to buy as far as investment purposes. And we will also be dealing with the nitric acid process of dissolving the gold. So gold and all the uh, gold recovery, gold plated, gold filled items on the computers that I did a couple of videos on. We're going to show you guys how to melt them in nitric acid, how to dissolve the gold out of that and turn it into pure 999, 24 karat gold ingots. So a lot of cool information is coming up. Stay tuned on my channel. Look, look out for my future videos and I wish you all a great day. Take it easy and have a nice one. Bye-bye.